Paddle Lane, when the magic stopped. When the magic stopped. One day, Tessa and Tim were in the garden of the old house. The wind was blowing the leaves all over the garden. Tim and Tessa chased the leaves for a long time, but at last they got tired of that game and looked around for something to do. Let's go and see the magician, said Tessa. Yes, let's, said Tim. I expect he'll be up in the attic. Come on. Tessa and Tim were in the garden of the old house. Tim and Tessa climbed up the tree by the old house. They jumped down onto the roof and ran up to the window. The window was open. They looked in. The room below was empty. There's a saucer of milk on the table, said Tessa. Do you think the magician left it for us? I expect he did, said Tim. Let's go and see. Tim and Tessa jumped down onto the roof. They looked in at the window. There was a pole propped up against the window. The two little cats climbed down the pole. Tessa saw a label lying on the floor with a word written on it. The word was no. Look, said Tessa, it says no. What does that mean? Can't we go on the floor? It can't mean that, said Tim. Perhaps the magician dropped it. They jumped up onto the table. No. Look, said Tessa. There were two saucers on the table. One was full of milk. There was a label propped up against it. The word on the label was yes. It's for us, said Tessa. Tim and Tessa drank the milk. It was very good. What's the other saucer, asked Tim. It's a flying saucer, said Tessa. Flying saucer. Yes. <coughs> there were two saucers on the table. Tim and Tessa looked at the flying saucer. How does it fly? Tim asked. You get in and press that button, said Tessa. Then you wish, and the saucer takes you where you want to go. Let's go somewhere, said Tim. If the magician didn't want us to fly it, he'd have put a label on it saying no. Tim and Tessa looked at the flying saucer. The two little cats jumped into the saucer. Tessa put a paw on the red button. The saucer flew up off the table into the air. It hovered above the table. I wish the saucer would fly, said Tessa. Yes. The two little cats jumped into the saucer. I wish the saucer would fly, said Tessa. Yeah. At once the flying saucer flew out of the window. It flew over the garden. It flew over the houses. It flew on and on till it came to the park.
the flying saucer flew out of the window. It's a wonderful saucer, cried Tim. He was very excited. Can you make it fly any faster? I'll try, said Tessa. She put a paw on a button. I wish to fly fast, she said. The saucer flew faster and faster. It flew over the river and over the hills. The saucer flew faster and faster. Look, said Tim, there's a wood over there. Can you make the saucer fly over the wood? I think so, said Tessa. I wish to fly over the wood, she said. And she pressed the red button. At once, the saucer flew to the wood. The saucer flew over the wood. It stopped in the air and hovered over the trees. Make it fly down to the ground, said Tim. We'll explore the wood. I wish to fly down to the ground, said Tessa. She pressed the red button with her paw. Nothing happened. The saucer didn't move. It stayed where it was over the wood. The saucer didn't move. Why doesn't the saucer fly down? asked Tim. I don't know, said Tessa. I'll try again. She pressed the red button with her paw. I wish to fly down to the ground, she said. Nothing happened. The saucer didn't move. It stayed where it was, over the wood. The saucer didn't move. The sun was beginning to set. Perhaps we'd better go home, said Tim. It will soon be dark. I wish to go home, said Tessa. She pushed the red button as hard as she could. But the saucer didn't move. It stayed where it was, over the wood. The saucer didn't move. Tessa tried again and again. She wished very hard, and she pushed the red button. But nothing happened. The saucer stayed where it was. The sun set, and the stars came out. The moon came up over the wood. I wish I was home, said Tessa. So do I, said Tim. I wish I was home, said Tessa. The saucer didn't move. Just then, a great white bird came flying up from the wood. It was a big white owl. Who are you? he called as he flew by. Who are you? I'm Tim, said Tim, and I want to go home. So do I, said Tessa. They both began to mew. Said Tim and Tessa. A big white owl flew by. The owl landed on the edge of the saucer. Have you stolen the magician's flying saucer? He asked. No, said Tim. The magician is a friend of ours. We live in his garden. We were just out for a ride. I expect that the saucer has run out of wishes, said the owl. The owl said, the saucer has run out of wishes. What do you mean? asked Tessa. The flying saucer runs on wishes, said the owl. When you've had three wishes, it won't go any further. The magician has to pour in some magic wishes before the saucer will fly again. We've had three wishes, said Tim. 
Then that's why it won't go, said the owl. Then we'll never get home, cried Tessa. The flying saucer runs on wishes, said the owl. I'll take you home, said the owl. If you are friends of the magician, you are friends of mine. Jump on my back. I'll take you home. What about the saucer? asked Tim. I'll tell the magician where it is. He'll send for it, said the owl. So Tim and Tessa jumped onto the owl's back. Tessa and Tim jumped onto the owl's back. Away flew the owl over the wood. He flew over the hills and over the river. He flew over the park and over the roofs of the houses in the town. The owl flew away. He flew over the roofs of the houses. At last they came to the old house where the magician lived. The moon was shining down. The owl flew down into the garden. Tim and Tessa jumped off his back. They were very glad to get home. Thank you, Al, they both said together. The owl flew down to the garden of the old house. The owl flew off to see the magician and Tim and Tessa crept into their home under the steps. Do you remember that notice we saw on the floor, said Tessa as they settled down in the box. Yes, said Tim, it was no. I think it must have fallen off the flying saucer, said Tessa.